Among the many very sensitive ecosystems in my country, probably one of the most threatened are the Himalayas. As human pressures on them keep growing with increasing activity of local people, many of the Himalayan natural forests, which were a mix of conifer and broadleaf forests, have become highly degraded, fragmented forest systems. This has led to increasing pressures for local people because they collect all their fuel wood, fodder, and a whole lot of other natural products from the forest ecosystems. Local people around these sensitive ecosystems like the Himalayas need resources and they are the poorest of the poor very often of tribal communities whose total life depends on the forest and they feel alienated if they are not allowed to collect these resources. If we can give them alternate sources of income, their pressure on the biodiversity of these protected areas automatically falls. Using locale specific skills is a very important part of creating alternate income generation for local people who live in very sensitive ecological systems. One of the unique projects that we at Bharti Vidyapit have taken around Dudwa Tiger Reserve in Uttar Pradesh was linking the local crafts, baskets, they're made of bamboo and other artifacts that are made of grass, which local people have made for generations and making those into a product that becomes marketable. They need to understand that in some way, the protected area is actually helping them financially. Several local NGOs in the Himalayas support such activities where local people use their own skills, for instance, in weaving so that they can earn a living which would reduce the impacts on the forest ecosystem. India is considered one of the world's mega diversity nations and that is where all our future wealth lies. But we shouldn't be asking local people to pay the price of conservation. 